so we are going to do kind of like a favourites, like a springtime favourites video, just because I haven't done a monthly video, well a monthly favourites for ages, and I kind of don't know what to say or do for a monthly favourites because it's been so long and I've just been using a whole bunch of different things lately. So I thought that I would share some things with you and just call it like a spring slash summer time favourites video. Just things I'm definitely going to be loving. So makeup wise, actually no, we'll start off with skincare. I've actually started jumping on the sunbeds, not that you can tell because I'm still pasty white, but um, I've been like three or four times now, um, only a couple of minutes at a time, like twice a week at the most, and every time other than that I'm wearing like sunscreen and stuff. I've been using it to try and help with my eczema, which it is working, I use a special sunbed which it has like special tubing in it for skin issues so I have to say that I'm really loving that because I think in a few months time I'll be able to get my legs over there having to worry about anything which is amazing for someone who hasn't been able to show their legs off for like a few months now well next few months, I say years things. I'm going to hair care next um, so we all know that I love love changing my style up on my hair well my colour not my style, it kind of stays very flat most of the time. I do kind of put curls in every now and again, but mostly it stays flat. And I've got this weird, like, washed out, I don't even know what colour this is at the moment, but I will be changing it soon. But I'm kind of trying to get it into tip-top condition, so I'll share a few things that I've been using. I've not been washing my hair as much, so obviously, as always, Batiste dry shampoo is an absolute must for me. I'm using the cherry one which smells amazing, one of my favourite things of all time I have to say. Then for sort of like nourishing and protecting my hair I'm using a mixture of the Lee Stafford Detangling Spray, this is just a leave-in conditioner and the L'Oreal Mythic Oil which I put in at night and just really nourish the ends because they're a little bit dry. Um, also for anyone who's wondering I cut my hair myself now, it's so easy and yeah, it's really not difficult at all. There are a few bits that grow at different lengths, it's like not the best chop in the world, but it does it and I can get rid of everything that I need to get rid of. So for styling products, don't use a lot still, um, but I've had this lying around for ages and never used it and actually it's a really good sea salt spray. So I'm going to be using this a bit more. It's the Umberto Gianni Grunge Glamour Tussled Salt Spray. It looks like that. I just sort of put it on like freshly like waved or curled hair, anything like that. Scrunch it up and it's good to go. Right, we'll get on to skincare now. I have a few things that I'm loving. So I'll show you them all. And mostly they're serum based. So... I have an eye cream which is from Simple, I've been using this underneath my eyes pretty much every day and it's really helping to get rid of the dryness so that's great. And then I've got two serums, I use the L'Oreal one at night, this is the Skin Perfection, I'm kind of halfway through it, it's a really nice little serum and then Wild About Beauty I use this one, this is a Rose Water Illuminating Serum and I use that in the morning. It's really nice as well. Then I have for makeup a few little bits, not a lot, just a few. So we have Max Face and Body. I love using a light based foundation um, because then I can just build it up as and when I want. So definitely this for summertime. Also, um, it's slightly ever too dark for me at the moment. So when I start building my tan colour, I think it's going to be better, even though this is the lightest shade that they do, it's still ever so slightly too dark for me, so I think this is going to go great when I can, um, when I get my tan on, basically. Um, the next thing is a blush, which we actually got in the most recent Birch box, it's the... Um, Jelly Pong Pong uh, Caribbean Sun Bronzer Duo. This actually looked really scary at first because it was quite dark. It's um, Martinique 
and it's got a bronzer and a blush and I love them both, I think they're really amazing. Um, it gives such a great colour for summer um, so I really like it because it warms up my face and just looks effortless beautiful. And the blush does have a little bit of glitter shimmer particles in there so it's really nice as well. Then we go on to mascara and I will have to get the full size version of this because I've just started using it and it's amazing. It's the Benefit Roller Lash. I absolutely love this. The wand is looks like this. I don't know if you can see it, if it's going to focus on it. Slightly curved and it does sort of have these bristles on it that try and catch things. It's really nice, really pretty. Um, really does a great like, job of like lengthening, volumising and separating my lashes. So I really like that one. And then for lipstick, I'm kind of keeping it neutral at the moment. So this is kind of a good one that I like. Um, it's the Mine Long Lasting Lip Gloss. It's what I've got on now. I absolutely adore this one from MUA. It's called... Halkion, I think is how you pronounce it. It's like a pinkish nude. Which looks like that. And I will swatch the other one for you. This is like a cashmere dupe. Which looks like that one. And I actually think that this one from MUA is looks like a dupe for Faded from Lime Chrome. So maybe that will appeal to you I'm really as well. loving this month. Um, this month? This time yeah it's actually shimmery sparkly eyeshadows so I love from Urban Decay these are two really great this is like an old packaging this is Midnight Cowboy Rides again and it's just such a cute little like pink based champagne colour and there's so much I don't know if I'm gonna pick up there's so much glittery shimmer in that that I just love it it's beautiful then we have from Urban Decay, it's in the Zodiac glitters, this is, uh, no, this is Zodiac and it's like kind of like their shimmer based ones. This is like a cre green, just divine like colour, like this you need to build up a bit. So it looks like that on like first swatch. But then if you just sort of like really pack it on. It goes just insane. It's just so amazing. So I love that. And the last one I'm going to show you is new to me. It's from the Wildcat Makeup Eyeshadow Range. Um, I'll link below most of the things where you can buy this from. Um, this is called Limerence. It's such a shimmery gold colour. It's beautiful. Let's do a swatch over here for you. And that is what that one looks like. It's just amazing. I've got it on my inner corners at the moment. Beautiful. Um, so that is pretty much it for my springtime favourites. I don't really experiment too much. I just kind of stick to the same looks and then use like lipstick to change up my style a bit. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again in my next one. Bye guys!